What does rhizome actually mean? A rhizome basically is used to map out how an innumerable amount of points are connected. And what it represents is the idea that everything within a space, everything related to one another, can be and must be connected. The way that we connect someone so much is so unintended. We look at maps, we look at roads, we look at routes. We think that we see something that is, that is truth, but really it is just sort of a development, an expansion of the ways in which we want to connect to each other. When I think rhizome, I think um, everything being connected. I think um, to tell X, it means the X factor, the, the thing that is the power of ideas, that the ripple effect where one thing leads to another. So when I see a rhizome, I think about people. Um, I, think about, I think about networks, I think about contacts, um, I think about the ways in which we reach out to those around us in ways that are not hierarchical or linear or, or this way or that way, they're every way. Think about how ingrained the tree system is in our education, in our very culture. We look at family trees, we look at descending structures, we look at uh, multiplication tables and flow charts. If we were to understand the world around us as rhizomatic, as dynamic as the rhizome is, we begin to empathize with people whom we before never connected with people outside of our fields of study, people outside of our cultural bounds, our societal bounds, our, our socioeconomic divides are broken down. The theme of Rhizome for this year is the idea that we have people from so many different backgrounds of expertise giving TED Talks. TEDx Tufts tries to put forth Rhizomes. The ideas that are shared on the Cohen stage are exactly rhizomatic in nature. They're constantly shifting. Otherwise, they're not ideas worth spreading. If an idea is finite enough to be not worth sharing, not dynamic enough to change, not willing enough to mold, then it's not worth spreading. Any truth from, from a talk of one of our speakers, whether you're talking about science, about life, about death, um, could be picked up by anyone in the audience, regardless of who they are, regardless of their relationship with the speaker, and be refracted and sort of transmitted into, into something that means something to that audience member is, is truly the core of what TED Talks are about.